with uh, Shana Galen of Sourcebooks. Her book, The Rogue Pirate's Bride, came out in February. And so we're going to have a little chat with her. So welcome, Shana. Thank you. Um, you said that Eve Dallas in the J.D. Robb ser in Death series really inspired your a Raven character in The Rogue mm -hmm. Pirate's Bride. What, what about Eve? Um, well, I love that series. And, uh, you know, Eve really doesn't have much in common with a historical heroine, or you wouldn't think so. But... Uh, the more I was reading uh, the series and the more I was thinking about The Rogue Pirate's Bride and writing The Rogue Pirate's Bride, the more I wanted to um, use some of those characteristics in Eve, uh, especially, you know, she's she's tough, she's spunky, she um, is, you know, hard as nails, and I saw that in, in Raven, but Eve also has a lot of vulnerability, but, you know, she keeps hidden, but it's there, and um, I think that that Raven has that same vulnerability kind of underneath the surface, and I really wanted to highlight that mm -hmm. in in the book. That's a, so. Is the hero at all like Rourke? Well, he's really handsome, like Rourke. But <laughs> <laughs> he better be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the thing I love about Rourke. I mean, everybody loves Rourke, I know. Uh -huh. And the thing I love about Rourke is that he really. Um, he really takes care of Eve, and he really loves her for um, who she is. I mean, even though he doesn't like cops, he he respects that she's a cop. He helps her with her work. And um, the thing about Bastion is that he starts to... Um, the thing that makes him fall in love with Raven is, is her skills, and, and that she can fire a cannon, and that she can fight, you know, use swords in a fight, she can fire a pistol, and he comes to respect that and to to really um, fall in love with her because she has those qualities, not because she's pretty and not because she's, you know, um, any whatever other reason, you know, he, mm -hmm. he really respects that she has these qualities that he admires. Cool. So what's the what's the premise of the Rogue Pirate's Bride? I love that title, by the way. Just oh, anytime you. you put rogue and pirate yeah. in the same title, that's great. <laughs> the, well, the original title was the making of a rogue. So I still will have people come up to me. Even we had a signing today, and even today people came up and said, "Well, where's when are you going to get the making of a rogue?" I said, "This is it. This is the making of a rogue. It's just called the Rogue Pirate's Bride now." Mm -hmm. um, the premise is this is the third book in a series, but it can totally be read alone and I, I have a lot of people who have not read the first two books in this series and they were like oh I didn't even realize it was a series so um they can totally be read alone and the series is about it's it's called the sons of the revolution it's about three brothers who during the french revolution their chateau is attacked by a mob of um you know french citizens and they kind of all escape and they don't know what happened to the other ones and um this is the third brother the last brother and he escaped with one of the servants he was about uh, i think 11 at the time and he fled to the coast of france and um signed up with a pirate and went on board a pirate ship and basically worked his way up in the pirate hierarchy to become who you know the captain of his own ship although he will never say he's a pirate he always says he's a privateer so i do have to um i do have to say that mm -hmm. and uh so he's kind of been sailing the seas and um at, at the time when the book is takes place it's, there aren't really, you know, this isn't the 1600s, this is the um, 1800s, so he's mainly like in the Mediterranean where the Barbary pirates were. And so he is sailing around there, and um, what happens is that one of the admirals in the British Navy, uh, he kind of run, make, has a run-in with the um, fiancé of the admiral's daughter, and he ends up killing the fiancé. <laughs> And so, and that's Raven, her fiance. And so she decides she's going to get revenge on him, and she goes after him. And so the book opens as she's challenging him to a sword fight. Very cool. So, I love that. That sounds great. Thanks. We gave it a really good review at HEA too, didn't we? <laughs> I, I don't remember it being bad, so. Yeah. Okay. And so the next book in the series is when you give a duke a diamond. What? No, know? this is that's a completely oh, new I'm series. So sorry. Actually, that's okay. okay. So when you. Give a Duke a Diamond, what's that? When mm -hmm. does that come out? When You Give a Duke a Diamond comes out in September. Mm -hmm. It's the first book in a new series called The Jewels of the Ton. And that book is about three glamorous courtesans in Regency, England. And they are um, they get involved with some dangerous diamonds and some equally dangerous men. Mm. And these courtesans, the first book, When You Give a Duke a Diamond, is about Juliet. And um, each courtesan has kind of been given... Um, a sobriquet by the Prince Regent, and uh, Juliet's sobriquet is uh, the Duchess of Dalliance, and <laughs> uh -huh. so she uh, basically kind of is in the wrong place at the wrong time, and she uh, ends up being threatened by this kind of underlord, and uh, 
she witnesses a murder um, that this guy does, and, and um, there's a duke, he's a very stodgy, kind of formal duke, and he basically has to protect her. Mm-hmm. And it's his, um, I, I seem to have a, this is like a theme, I guess, that uh-huh. I, it's uh-huh. his It's his fiancé who's who's murdered. So oh. again, somebody's fiancé is murdered. Uh-huh. And so they kind of have an adventure together. My books have a lot of adventure, a lot of action, mm-hmm. a lot of suspense. So um, they kind of have an adventure together trying to find the diamonds. And, um, you know, she's a courtesan, so she's completely unsuitable as a, you know, wife for a duke. Right. And yet he's, you know, really drawn to her. Uh-huh. And then the second book, we don't have a title for the second book or the third book, but it's going to be, the second book is about um, Fallon, and she's the Marchioness of Mystery, (laughs) and the third book is Lily, and she's the Countess of Charm. Oh, love it. That sounds really fun. Thank you. And all the books will have um, jewels in the title, and I don't even know which jewels will be in the titles yet. Well, we know Diamond is in the first one, Diamond is the first one, yes, (laughs) and I suspect Ruby or Sapphire will be in one of them. Maybe readers can send you suggestions. Yes, absolutely. (laughs) My editors are are very open to that. They love reader input. Okay. So, um, great. Is there anything you'd like to add? Is there... Um, Oh, you know what I'll add is... um, that uh, a lot of my readers have been writing and asking me about um, another book in the Lord and Lady Spy series, which came out uh, in September 2011. And um, I will add that I am about to start on another book in that series. And it um, will have a new couple, but it will also feature Sophia and Adrian from the um, first book. And so readers will kind of find out what happened with them, Mm -hmm. because I know I kind of left um, that hanging and right now the title we're calling it true spies <laughs> and um, if that makes you think of the movie true lies mm-hmm. that's good because it kind of is a it's going to be a little bit of a takeoff from the Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, Jimmy Lee Curtis movie I love that movie yeah it's fun it's a very it's a very iconic movie that sounds so. really great. and Lord and Lady Spy is like you know kind of a play on Mr. and Mrs. Smith so it's kind of okay. we're kind of keeping with that theme yeah, I love how you. I love how you have those themes like that. Yeah, that's, that's. I mean, readers can really grasp that right away when you say Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You know, oh, yeah, you're going to shoot up a Costco. Right. Well, well they, <laughs> I know. yeah, I <laughs> it, they're going to do the equivalent in Read and See, and then <laughs> right. Yeah, you immediately kind of get a picture in your mind of what the book is about, right. and um, mm-hmm. I'm hopefully you know I can live up to that. So. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sure you'll be fine. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Shana. Thank you. Thanks.